Hey guys, um, here in the smithy, I'm uh, gonna make some knives, at least get a knife, um, hammered out today, and then, um, try and get this other knife that I've been working on, uh, sorry, um, finished, well, at least get it cleaned up and stuff. Uh, I thought I'd show you a couple knives here that I'm working on. Um, just some stuff that I'm going to be putting out there. But uh, here I'm going to show you this. So, excuse the mess. Um, yeah. I need to clean this up, but I'm trying to fit 10 pounds in a 5 pound building. Um, but, yeah, anyways. So, this is what we got. This is the one that I'm, I gotta clean up and get. That is one of the ones that came out of um, the gun barrel, which is, this is a piece of the gun barrel right there. Um, what I did is I cut it to length and then took and cut the grinder, took the grinder and cut down through the center on the one side and you can see the barrel or what, or well what was the barrel um the hole for the bullet right there um probably can't see the rifling in there but um yeah but that's what this came out of a uh, hunk of that actually here's part of the barrel that um we cut cut pieces off of um but that's that's what these um some of these knives are coming at the ones that i'm hand forging um some of them are most of them are going to be coming out of this as long as i have gun barrels which is the chrome molly um this these here ones are not hand forged ones they're going to be i just take them down with my sander and that um but uh those are 1095 uh so just a couple different shapes and stuff um but i'm going to be putting them out uh these probably won't have antler handle on them um neither will this one these um kind of get a uh I have variation of, of material that I use for the handles. I mean, it's all wood, but um, it's either, uh, let's see, walnut or cherry. Uh, I do have oak, but I per pretty much like using the walnut and the cherry. Uh, it just gives it a nice, real nice look. Um, so these, these here will definitely be getting the, the walnut and the cherry handles um i don't have any right here with me that'll be getting the um antler handles but um yeah I'll, i'm gonna be making some of them and they'll have the the uh chrome molly the old rifle barrel they'll have um they'll have that what i do is I, after i have that i take and uh put it in forge heat it up I spread that out and then um, take and flatten it and then I hammer it out to whatever shape I'm looking for um, none of these are going to be the same they're all different shapes and stuff so you know it's as they come it's what they are um, I don't know if you can see actually this one I don't know if you can see them lines in there um, that is actually um, some of the rifling in the in the steel um, there's gonna be you know these aren't gonna be perfect perfect knives like right here um, is a part right here where that is 
part of the forging. Now, to try and get all that out, I'd have to grind and grind and grind and grind and grind. And it's a hand forged knife. So, um, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It's not like it's coming from a factory. There's a spot right there. You can see uh, it's from the forging. But, um, so, I just thought I'd show you this. Um, maybe I'll show you some stuff on the way as I'm pounding this out. I'll show you some of the um, steps in that. So, alright guys, well, I'll see you later.